Guys, thanks so much for coming in. We have Flossie here today. Hi. Charlie, Sinead, Lauren. I don't know why I kind of went like that. <laughs> that's going to confuse people, but, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. So I just want to jump in and ask you guys a little bit about how you came to be flossy with all your successes <laughs> um i first heard about you i think it was um sort of the start of 2017 um and you kind of quickly made quite a presence on the local music scene um definitely impressed me i thought it was very cool um oh, well. <laughs> and then and then um you got nominated for the what was it? Best new act? Most popular new act Most in 2017, act. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for any young band starting out there, uh, do you have any sort of like tips on what you guys did in order to get from zero to that point? <laughs> yeah. I think we fumbled our way through it, right? Yeah. <laughs> we just, I think like the biggest tip is just do it. Like say yes to everything. Probably be like, good as well, right? Oh yeah, big probably a good well, starting yeah, point. Some I mean, good songs. When yeah. when I started playing bass, though, we jumped oh, straight yeah. into gigs, and like I didn't really know what I was doing at the start, so I probably wasn't very good, but I was still doing stuff. Yeah, it yeah. took us a while to actually figure out what kind of like genre we wanted to play in as well. So we, mm. the first set that we ever played was like a mixture of like five different genres. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true, actually, because I do remember your first single had a solo that was almost a little bit like bluesy and kind of like <laughs> wow 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 and yeah. you know yeah. it's kind of like t- Chris kind of, we still play that yeah oh, well still you know, part of the set yeah that's, that's yeah. got some swag to it so it, it definitely had a bluesy tinge like our yeah, earlier definitely. stuff I think that was my influence and then mm. Lauren's stuff was uh, I guess we kind of you you'd been doing like indie folk kind of vibe and yeah before the band and then we were like how do we combine our I mean we didn't really play an indie folk but I listened to a, like a lot of rock music and especially mm. like nineties rock. I was listening to a lot of that at the time. So mm. um, that influence um, came into it and yeah. yeah, with the blues as well that um, right. was what about sh- other than blues, what else, what was your background before the band? Uh, mine, I did. Yeah. Oh, I, I hadn't really been in a band before. Like I was, um, I've done the cover scene <laughs> um, doing like singing. Well, that would be a good um, sort of, uh, experience like basis to then start gigging without just going straight to the first gig mm. and yeah. freaking like the getting hell used out. to the stage and everything yeah, yeah. oh yeah like I've, yeah. I've always been on the stage like I did um acting at uni mm. and and that's good it kind of goes to show that um it's not always sort of like people just don't come out of nowhere right yeah mm. like you yeah. still obviously yeah. had a lot mm. of experience in different ways that kind of equipped you for to, to get nominated within a year of effectively being a band. Yeah, I don't know. I think in terms of the other stuff that young bands can do, like I just think gigging like regularly all the time is like the most important thing because yeah. you just get better and better and better. Like, But do you think that there's such thing as being overexposed? Um, I think you get you reach a point where you're like, we need to stop playing as often as we are to create demand when we um, put but on at shows. at the start, you just want to kind of give Yeah, we were taking like every opportunity. Character. Every yeah. opportunity. Like we played, I think, fif- like 48 shows in 52 weeks um, one year. There's so literally like right a gig <laughs> a week. <laughs> um, yeah, gig a week for a whole year basically. And like wow. it just got us our live shows so much tighter and like, yeah, it just kind of, I feel like sped up. Like the quality of what we were doing live. Yeah, and it definitely uh, showed, yeah. I think. But Charlie, you obviously um, have, or well, not obviously, but I have found out yeah. to today that you teach music and it sounds like you have a bit of a um, like musical background. And yeah. do you think that, that that sounds like that kind of complements the the dynamic and yeah definitely um yeah yeah i work at a music school and take like young bands and whatnot and just um take like really young bands and kind of like mid-teen bands and just we always go through own original stuff so these you know guys will bring in a, a song that's like what lauren said like very skeleton and then um yeah just like building structure to it layering on top and that's the same when we get into the studio um just you know adding all those kind of layers and and whatnot and, yeah um, so you, like the spices and the yeah the, 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 like little extra bits yeah. of like musicality yeah yeah so yeah. that's kind of my job with oh, nice. with kids and whatnot just to, um 
teaching them how to write songs, but how to work with each other and how to listen to each other's parts. And, and then you get to be the kid in Flossie. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. <laughs> and then he comes and teaches us. And then I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're the child that keeps, yeah, keeps the marriage yeah. together. <laughs> Luckily, it's not that bad. These guys have a lot of experience in the industry, so it's... Uh, they're not fourteen-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah, sometimes act like it, but yeah. <laughs> that brings me to my next question. Um, so, not maybe not everyone knows this, but you guys are sisters. All what three of us sisters. All, yeah. three, all three of us are sisters. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So you're a man, of, oh. man of surprises, I, I tell know. you. Uh, yeah. What? So, so tell me, are there like what are the pros of that, and what are the cons of that? It's it's good. Like it's it's definitely got its pros and cons. Like when we're um, if we're like touring together and stuff, like it's really nice to have a family member there. Like because you just feel like they're always just like have extra your safety back. and yeah. like yeah. comfort of having yeah. someone yeah. that you trust completely. And yeah, and we yeah. we trust Charlie. <laughs> But um, <laughs> it's just like that added sort of real homely. You've got a homely feeling with you because you've got your sibling with you. Yeah. Um, now give us the dirt. What are the bad things? <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the good well, stuff. I really want to know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Lauren and I are quite different personalities. So sometimes we clash and we try to always make sure that Charlie isn't involved in that. Charlie's in the not the like referee. I'm yeah. like the child. He's not they, the marriage they, they, counsel. They, yeah. yeah. I'm like the child. They never argue in front of me. Yeah. Oh. They always keep in a – always play happy family. Yeah. No, that's good. And Charlie is yeah. a very, like, peaceful – he has a very peaceful yeah. aura and that's energy what, about him too. We so were that's saying that's off camera. Yeah. So he's so calming. Yeah. yeah. He's got a, there's some zen-like quality to him. Yeah. Um, mm. You know, typical drummer, I guess. You know, there's a lot of – you're the backbone of, of the yeah. music yeah. and the – relationship yeah, yeah true oh that's well, sweet well, <laughs> well, thanks Tristan oh no no problems no problems I expect some compliments in return by the way I'll, oh wow I'll, I'll be yeah. holding you maybe no, maybe, might, maybe off camera yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to sort of touch on your songwriting approach I don't know I, I guess everyone might have a slightly different way of doing stuff mm -hmm. um you guys tend to write super catchy stuff it always gets stuck in my head mm -hmm. um today Definitely leading up to this interview, um, I just kept annoying everyone around me by repeating the hooks. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, do, do you guys have like a, is it always the same process or is, do you have techniques or is it just like a natural thing or do you just dream the songs in your sleep? Like how do you guys, is it, is it one of you that does one thing and the other that does the other or what, what's um, the process? Not really. It's sort of... Um, usually like one of us will come to the band with a set of lyrics and, and some melodies and then we'll work on it together uh, from right. there. So yeah, usually there's like a skeleton of a song and then we, yeah, sort of like chop and change things. And, yeah. and so you're saying that it's just like either or most of the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lauren or I yeah. will write a song. Like we both tend to write on our own. Do you guys write differently? Uh, I, th I think so. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I think you can – Tell which songs each of us have written. Yeah, I mean, we tend to sing the songs oh, yes. we've written as well. <laughs> that's, a, that's a giveaway. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah like if Lauren it. writes a song, she'll usually take the lead part um, yeah. or vice versa. But yeah. yeah, we kind of just work on it, lyrics and stuff on our own, have like a basic melody, then we bring it to Charlie and we like, jam it and he has like great ideas and adds all these like he's always got great baseline ideas because i'm just like help me i don't know anything <laughs> and good like structural I'm ideas like as well yeah. like yeah. what so was that well, sinead passed the bass here yeah <laughs> <laughs> the bass while i'm playing drums. this is the e string right here this is the a string yeah <laughs> i just want to end with one more question for you guys a little bit of a light-hearted one uh, <laughs> um oh <God. laughs> any any sort of like silly like hectic or embarrassing stories from you know time your time being in a band um that you <laughs> that you'd like to share with us or maybe not <laughs> maybe you'd like to there's definitely some that we won't and, share yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, lauren you want to take this one yeah, yeah well, we were just talking before like we were trying to like think up some like 
super <laughs> embarrassing um, stories. One of them we're not going to tell. But um, um, oh damn, I want to. <laughs> yeah, we, we want some juice. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like reminiscing back. Um, I think I've done the most embarrassing things. Yeah, so well, I thought it would be me. Like we were like, yeah, surely we'll most of the embarrassing things would happen to me because I'm like yeah, we all a bit of a larrikin. <laughs> but like, a bit I, of a I, loose unit. A bit of a loose unit. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just um, I couldn't actually think of Break too of many things. And yeah, break yeah, she <laughs> broke her thumb. Oh, I did, yeah. I mean, Ouch. When we were over at Big Sound, I just before, two weeks before we left, I sprained my ankle playing footy. And so the entire of Big Sound was yeah. spent with me like five paces behind yeah. these guys and now manager and, Skinny. And Lauren and I would just be like talking and Just like and walking going. down the street. And then chatting. we'd be like, like oh, where is Sinead? And she'd be like 50 <laughs> metres behind. She's like, like hobbling, hobbling up yeah, and like, yeah. go on without me. And then she got lit home from Big Sound and then sprained the other one like oh, yeah. a couple weeks later. <laughs> oh my God. So, so she was like. like Double oh, hobble, walk. yeah, <laughs> just a complete cripple. Yeah, yeah. that was oh, that was God. pretty embarrassing. Yeah. Like just hobbling around everywhere. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's also a little bit sad. I feel sorry. It for was you. sad. Yeah. It was really painful. That was I know. Yeah. Yeah. But Lauren had a funny time. situation. But Lauren had a big sad I guess one as well. This, this felt like this was very embarrassing and just sad at the time <laughs> that it happened because it was um, so many people saw it as well. I know it was at the <laughs> the closing party at Big Sound in Brisbane and. um pretty much everyone that was your time to network yeah it was a time to network yeah and it was just like the big last night like everyone got dressed up real nice and like um felt like super cool like going to this huge like function like balls it was like a ballroom like with these big chandeliers and like (laughs) (laughs) ball space a ballroom (laughs) i'm glad i'm not the only one that thinks (laughs) thinks immature things constantly (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> anyway um, anyway keep going carry but yeah on and then <laughs> yeah and then um i i thought that like all the drinks were just like free for the artists and <laughs> we everyone. got told there was a massive tab <laughs> yeah a massive tab so i was and just like was. yeah walked up to the bar and i'm just like yeah i'd have i'll have two like sauvignon blancs or whatever i <laughs> oh, ordered yeah. thinking i was like so fancy and um and then i was just like showing my artist wristband as well just like yeah i'll have those please and then, yeah, they passed me the drinks and they're like, that's $20. And I was oh, like, no. Uh, okay. And I think I actually asked them as well at the time, like, oh, I don't get them. But, but uh, I am like, an artist. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> and they were just like, no, you have to pay. And but I like, oh. it was only because she chose the wrong type of drink, I think, because some of them were free, like beer oh, and wine oh. and stuff. I but I think that. you got like gin oh, well, and tonic you know. or something. I know that now. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, I drank for free. And then you got your drink and then what happened? Oh, God. And then I got my the instigator of trouble. Yes. So he I got my drink, all my two drinks, yeah. yeah. Um, and I was walking over with my two drinks because the line was massive, so I was like wanted to get two. Plan ahead, yeah, got mm. plan ahead. Um, and I was standing waiting for probably these guys, and um, they, they had these. You didn't have any other friends, so. <laughs> yeah, just these two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, they had ping pong tables in at this event mm. and um people were playing and I was standing there I thought I was standing like a reasonable distance back from the ping pong table um but all of a sudden I felt this intense pain hit my face and it was someone's backhand with the bat Ooh. just like straight into my the side of my head and I was just Ow. like I felt like I was gonna be like concussed she got clobbered yeah. I got clobbered by the ping pong bat and you yeah. came back I remember you coming back it was to right me. at the start and, and you were just like you just had this look on your face like and I was just, oh, yeah. and I'm like what are you I was right? like I don't want to party anymore <laughs> <laughs> wow. just want to go home um yeah it was very painful and then I was just like probably in a bad mood after that <laughs> yeah it's like uh, that's the worst when you're just in a bad mood and like oh you're in pain and like no one else knows the context and they're just like yeah oh, this guy's this girl or guy's a bit of a sad sack yeah I think it was also because no one, none of my friends had seen what had happened, just random people. So it was more embarrassing because I couldn't laugh with anyone. Yeah. It was just like, oh, what happened? Yeah. Um, oh, no. yeah. And then he was very apologetic, but yeah. Didn't buy you it's a, a shame that he wasn't anyone I super don't think important. So. Or was it? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Oh, yeah. You could have wrote this. Could have milked yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. I uh, had a really good yeah, time. Thank you. Yeah, Great having time. a chat, having a yarn. And um, yeah, I hope everyone enjoys the amazing performances that you guys gave us. Thanks. Thanks thank so you very much. much.